Am I the asshole for refusing to pay the bill after my fiance and future in-laws tried to stiff me with it at an expensive restaurant? I, a 32-year-old female, just got engaged to my fiance, a 37-year-old male, Sam. We do not live together because we're waiting till marriage, given he and his family are highly conservative Christians, but they're really nice and lovable people. I had plans to spend New Year's Eve with Sam, but he said he was out for New Year's Eve dinner celebration with his parents, then called me again and invited me to join them, and I happily did. His parents were there. They welcomed me and ordered many dishes and desserts and drinks. We celebrated and had a great time until it was time to pay. I pulled my wallet out of my bag, letting them know that we'll split the check between us. Sam mumble no you don't have to we invited you but i insisted he and his parents then stared at me i asked what was wrong and both my future mother-in-law and father-in-law said they didn't have money on them i was shocked i turned to sam and he said he too forgot his wallet at home and didn't bring enough money to cover even the round of drinks his dad then laughed nervously and said all right so i guess we should then let the doctor pay i was taken aback i said i'm sorry but no this is just so much money to spend on one dinner by myself and i didn't think i was expected to pay the entire bill Sam said that I should pay and he paid me back later, but I said no since I know he will have to get a job to pay that much money. I said I'm sorry, but this isn't the first time I've been put in a situation by him and the family where I'm expected to rescue them after they somehow forgot their wallets and expect me to pay hundreds for their extravagant dinner. I told him I would only pay for what I had and that's it. He and his parents were shocked. They started arguing about how I have the potential to pay right there and then, but I was acting as if they were strangers, not family. But that doesn't mean I'm obligated to pay. How could someone go to a fancy restaurant? restaurant, order so many dishes, desserts, and drinks without bringing money. Sam begged that I just do it and call it a night, but I refused. The argument got heated, then I got up and walked out. Sam called later at 2 a.m., basically yelling that I ruined New Year's Eve celebration and made his parents suffer because I refused to pay the entire bill and instead acted selfishly and paid only for myself after they were gracious enough to invite me. No, they were gracious enough to try to extort you. I told him how unfair it was for me to pay for everyone, even if I have a good salary. That doesn't mean I want to spend it all on a fancy dinner. He didn't reply. He just said that he prays that his parents will let this go and not resent me after I basically damaged the relationship with them. Am I the a-hole? Look, girl, you need to run away from this man and this crazy family right now. First of all, apparently you are a doctor dating someone who was unemployed and whose parents seem to also either be unemployed or planning on using you to pay for all the fun shit that they can't afford. Yes, you are completely right. They invited you to the dinner. You didn't invite them. And they knew when they sat down and started ordering everything in the world that they weren't going to be paying that bill. They did it on purpose. And as you've said, this isn't the first time this is a pattern, which means if you choose to stay with this man, you are co-signing these individuals who have tried to extort you and will try to do it again. So don't be mad in a few years when you're getting a divorce because he didn't stole your money or you paying for his parents' living expenses because he doesn't have a job and they think you're obligated to. Hit that follow button and subscribe to the Church of Dose Don't Podcast on YouTube. The links are in the bio.